When we go to output, there are a couple things we like to do just to make sure that the output is really totally safe and at the very least won't call any attention to any major bad problems. And there are four that we can have Media Composer solve for us. The first is whether or not we have any footage offline. And for this, we talked about this in an earlier section, the idea you go to clip color, you choose offline, and when you say okay, anything that's offline on your timeline shows up red. I highly encourage you to watch the movies where I talk about saving these timeline views. I almost have in all of my timeline views this clip color set to on because I want to know if at any point I've got a clip that's offline. The second thing that I do, and I really think that's a, a smart thing to do in general, is to occasionally check, if not at the very end, for flash frames. Now, flash frames are frames that are under 10 frames. You can set that in your timeline settings. But when I say find flash frame, it finds any moments that are less than 10 frames and puts the playhead right on them. In this case, I'm gonna zoom in with the H key. You can see here that there's just one frame, one frame left, one frame right, one frame right. There's this little flash frame in here and it'll screw up your output. So you'll wanna go in and fix that any way you want. And similar to that, there's also what's called find black hole. Now that's not under a right click, that's gonna be under the clip menu where you can say find black hole. And it's this, this spot right here on the timeline, again, with this zoomed in, you can see there's just one frame that was just sitting out there. And my general suggestion is that when we go to adjust these things, just do this on a track by track basis to make sure you have no flash frames, to make sure you have no black holes. To adjust the flash frame setting, you right click on your timeline, you choose timeline settings, and you'll find it here under your timeline settings. The last thing that I think is really worth doing is opening up your console. Now the console is a command line for Media Composer. We find it under tools, it's called console. The console literally allows us to enter in DOS-like level commands. And while it's not necessarily intuitive, there are a couple commands that are useful. And we're only gonna deal with one here. And the one we're gonna deal with is what's called dump, D-U-M-P, max, M-A-X, peaks, no spaces, press the enter key. And it'll tell you what the max level for a given track is, and more, most importantly, whether or not it's clipped. And you can see channel one here is clipped. And it's clipped on purpose. I'm gonna close the console. I'm gonna to go to my timeline. I've intentionally created here a setting that will automatically clip to cause, cause the A1 track to peak. And that's just to show you this as an example. So I think these four things are, are pretty necessary to prepare your timeline just to make sure you don't have any mistakes when you go for output.